Bootstrap is essentially like a CSS wrapper for your projects. Basically, instead of going in and doing like brute force code and doing CSS, you can actually add these things called like button pro button button primary to certain elements like HTML elements, and then it will make them pretty like this, like round and uh, blue. So the primary one will be this one, secondary will be this one. So you can easily just add classes instead of going in the the actual CSS and styling it yourself. So it's kind of just like taking away some of the pain of CSS. So I want to go over how to actually install this for an Angular project because it's a little bit tricky. Now in the last video, I actually showed you how to set up your Angular project. So we have it set up right now in VS Code. Now in order to actually add this to your project, you actually need to go and grab the NPM download, which we downloaded node.js. So this install should work. So you're just going to go ahead and copy that and then go back to VS code. Now I'm going to press control C because I have, I had a server running. So now control C to just clear out your terminal. Now go ahead and press um, control V to paste it in here and then NPM I bootstrap press enter and then it will start downloading your actual bootstrap. So bam, it's already downloaded here. Now you aren't done yet because it will show up in your node module. So if you scroll down and go to bootstrap, which you will find in the B section, right? We now have it here. So you can see it here. And if you just keep going down further and further, you're actually going to find um, your bootstrap files in here as well. So what we need to do is actually tell your Angular project that, hey, our styling is in here. So what we're gonna end up doing is actually mapping it to here. So we need to actually get out of this because it's like intense and go to your angular.json file and scroll down to see styles. It's under build and then into styles and that's where we're gonna add it. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and then press enter to get to the next line and copy and paste this. So this is going to be your I need to change these quotes because I copied them weird. You're gonna paste in node underscore modules, bootstrap, dist, CSS, bootstrap. Now double check this um, because you can go in here just to make it easy. Go down to bootstrap and just to double check that the, your, your path is right. Dist, um, CSS, bootstrap dot min dot CSS right here. So that is what we're telling it. We're telling it, hey, I have bootstrap in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this file and we can ungrab this all so it's a little bit easier. So go ahead and save that and then you can actually send this um, to GitHub. So I'm just gonna say added bootstrap. So that way I am saving constantly and committing plus I'm getting my little green check marks. So I'm gonna go ahead and push that to origin and then let's take a look at the bootstrap. Okay, so we have our HTML. I wanna add like a button, like a fancy button. So we're just gonna type in button and have this here and say, okay, cool. Well, let's call it primary because this is the one we're gonna be stealing. If you wanna look at the documentation, we have it here. So we need this. So I'm just literally gonna copy this actually because it seems a little bit easier <laughs> to show you guys um, and go back to my thing, copy paste. And let's just go ahead and save that. And then you'll notice um, the button looks different. So I'll do a regular button to show you um, so that you can see the difference of adding here. So we'll call this primary. And notice how this one has the class and this one doesn't have the class. So we're gonna save that. I'm gonna run ng serve to get my server up and running so we can see the difference. So you'll notice one button will be a lot prettier because it's using Bootstrap and the other one that doesn't have the class um, the fancy classes that Bootstrap has will look uglier. So let's go ahead and open up our server. Where is it? Uh, here we go. Is this the right one? Oops. Let's refresh. Okay, perfect. So you'll notice one is very pretty and styled and one is very ugly. That is the point of CSS, um, using a CSS wrapper like Bootstrap because see how easy that was? I didn't have to go in and make it into my CSS file and you know do 
um, button, right, and then go in here and, and start styling stuff. I didn't have to do that. Or add a class, because what I would need to do in order to do that is I would need to ta tag this as like class equals um, fancy button, right? And then go into my CSS and do like dot fancy dash button and go in here and add like color, um, let's just say is blue, save that, save this, and then refresh that. And you could see like you changed the color and then see how like you changed the color of the primary text. Like you would have to do a bunch of CSS to get this thing to look good. So you would have to add, you know, background and borders and corners and blah. But with Bootstrap, you can just add button, button dash primary and it styles it for you. Now you can go to Bootstrap and change them. You could do buttons, you could do, you know, any, any, anything you want, you just search in here and then it has options to style it for you. It's really cool. It's very great for your project. It makes life just so much easier. So that is how you add it to your Angular project. If you missed how to set up the project initially with all the downloads, Node.js, you know, everything, I will link below here how to actually set up everything and how to set up your Angular project because there are a couple little things that threw me off that I had to figure out and it was a little bit painful and had the GitHub repository and all that. So I will link that below and somewhere up here. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.